I can say, because I witnessed it, was he was a living testament and a shining example of what he believed in. Never wavered back and forth. I'm talking about his actions. And I believe if he was here, if he was here, he would want me to say, Brother Sharif, in his soft, humble voice, let them know about their influence and their impact on others. People are watching and people are searching for answers. But he lived it every day. I didn't see him acting nasty one day and flip-flopping the next day. He was consistent and he had to have trials and tribulations just like anyone else. But you would never know it by the way he carried himself, especially when he had his business. Always on point, always positive, always giving light to someone. And he took care of his family. He took care of his family. Never no question about that. And even though most of his family and his children have moved away, I bet you if you was to ask someone about his family and his children, they would have nothing but positive things to say about the way they carry themselves. You don't got to believe what they believe. Everyone got different beliefs and the way they go about things. But one thing that stood consistent that I believe without a shadow of a doubt is, is the way he carried himself, the way he took care of his family, and the way he influenced his children to be who they are in the, in the countless lives that he touched at that store and even afterwards. Because I'm getting it all the time because of the posts that I made letting people know that our brother had uh, transitioned. So it is uh, very important in the spirit of our brother to be on top of your quote unquote spiritual game as much as you, this ain't no theology class, but people are watching and people are searching. And he did the best he could for my observation to always be a shining example to humanity. And to live what he said that he believed in. And I don't believe it's no coincidence that the Most High, who gives life and takes life, I don't think it's no coincidence that he made his transition, even though we didn't want to see him go during this blessed month of Ramadan, which is the blessed month for Muslims, a month of reflection meditation, a month for us to get closer to our creator, uh, a time where the gates of hell is closed, a time for us to get back to God consciousness, very blessed month. And he uh, makes his transition during this month. I don't believe that's a coincidence. I just don't. Someone else could say it's a coincidence. I don't believe that. Because again, I had a business and a personal relationship with the brother. Took long rides with him. Had long talks with him. Been in his home. Ate some of his cooking. The brother could cook too. Very, uh, very talented in many different ways. But the main thing is, is uh, his heart and his character, and he will be uh, sorely, sorely missed. You just don't get too many Muhammad Bashirs. You just don't. For someone to be that consistent with their character, as much as I saw, um, it just you just don't get too many people like that. And I believe that would be the message that he would want to get across, is to be what you say you are and be a shining light and example to others because the streets are watching. And you did a wonderful job, brother. Again, we can not say in Islam where someone is going, that's only up to the most high. But I can say that he was a wonderful, wonderful brother. 
There ain't no one walking around talking about, well, he shortchanged me at the store. If anything, he gave you some free oils and incense. Just a wonderful brother. And we need to uh, shine light on people that have good character. But the main thing to do is to recognize each other while we're above ground and not only wait until someone is gone. This person knows who I'm talking about. I just acknowledged someone just the other day and I acknowledged them and said, I really appreciate you just to show my gratitude. This is what we need to do with each other while we above ground. And not wait until someone's funeral and on and on and on to appreciate good people and people who make contributions for our people and for humanity. Don't wait till they're gone. Tell them why they're alive. Now, our sisters are typically a little better at doing this. But brothers, including myself, it is nothing wrong with going up to another brother and giving him a hug and saying, hey, man, I appreciate you. There's nothing wrong with that. So we, we will miss this brother. You don't get too many like him. And uh, our condolences go to his family, his wife, um, and his children. So try to uh, appreciate each other while we're here. And love each other while we're here and not wait till someone is gone. It's not too late, but it's better appreciated while they're here because then that will encourage them to keep doing whatever good works that they're doing. This is uh, Brother Sharif with the Hour of Power. Subscribe and share uh, my channel. I have a lot of information on there that I think can lift the mind, body, and soul of our people. I have uh, some projects coming up uh, that I think that can wake up our people. So uh, stay tuned uh, for that. And uh, Brother Muhammad, we miss you. And uh, you may not be here in body, but uh, your uh, spirit will never die. Assalamu alaikum.